Should I start again? Yeah. Yeah. I think there are a lot of similarities between disease spread and information spread, for instance, or the spread of news and populations. And one of my goals personally is trying to figure out what these similarities are and, um, and how one can understand all of these phenomena in one context, essentially. Could you give us any example? Yeah, I can give you an example. So, Spreading phenomena like a disease depends on interactions of individuals, right? If people don't interact, there's not going to be a transmission. And the same is true for specific types of information, like when we speak, there's information going from me to you. So one of the things that all of these phenomena share is that they're driven by interactions. So. If you want to understand them, you have to understand interactions. And many of these interactions in human populations or animal populations are governed by the networks that connect us. So when there are similarities between the networks, then you can expect that there are also similarities between how the spreading patterns are in these networks. So that's one of the things, one of the fundamental things that all of these things share. But as much as the question of similarity is also there's also the question of differences. So it's like this combination of asking what do two phenomena have in common and what are the differences? You know, these two questions go hand in hand.